Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the radius of curvature at any point of the parabola y square equal to 4ax. As a first part, we are going to differentiate this. So this is 2y dy by dx equal to 4a. From this, dy by dx equal to 4a by 2y. After cancelling, we get dy by dx equal to 2a by y. Now, for finding the second derivative, we are going to use this dy by dx. So, d square y by dx square. This 2a is a constant. So, we keep as it is. 1 by y differentiation is minus 1 by y square. As per the chain rule, we have to differentiate y which is dy by dx. Now, this is minus 2a by y square into 2a by y. So, minus 4a square by y cube. Now, coming to the formula of the radius of curvature, rho equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square and whole power 3 by 2 divided by d square y by dx square. In case if this is negative, we have to take a modulus. So now rho equal to 1 plus dy by dx is 2a by y. So here it will become 2a by y whole square. Then we also have whole power 3 by 2. And in the denominator it is minus 4a square by y cube. So we take minus 4a square by y cube with magnitude. Now in the numerator part it is 1 plus 4a square by y square and we have whole power 3 by 2 and in the denominator we take its magnitude as positive so 4a square by y cube then in the numerator we are going to take LCM so it is y square plus 4a square by y square and we have power 3 by 2 so I take separately for the numerator power 3 by 2 and for the denominator power 3 by 2 and whole divided by 4a square by y cube. So here we can cancel this y square and y square and this is y cube and denominator also y cube. So total y cube y cube gets cancelled. Then after that we can replace the value of this y square from the question which is 4ax. So y square is 4ax. So finally we are going to get rho equal to 4ax plus 4a square whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by 4a square. Then from this we can take 4a common. So remaining will be x plus a. But we have this power 3 by 2. So I have to write this separately for this and even for this whole divided by 4a square. Now we are going to simplify this term that is we have 4 power 3 by 2. So we take 4 power 3 by 2 then this is a power 3 by 2. We have a denominator by 4. So when I carry it up this will become 4 power 3 by 2 minus 1 and this becomes minus 2 because I have to group the similar term and 
we have x plus a whole power 3 by 2. So, 4 power 3 by 2 minus 1 means 4 power half and this is a power minus half and we have x plus a whole power 3 by 2. This is our row. So, finally 4 power half is 2 and this is root a. But when I take to the denominator it becomes a power half then this becomes root a and we have x plus a whole power 3 by 2. So, this is our backward radius of curvature.